I broke one of their cardinal rules while using a car wash. I let out a sigh of frustration as I looked at all the dirt that coated my windscreen. I sprayed water and used the wipers to clean it but unfortunately made it worse. I was nearly home and considered washing it myself but knew that I was too lazy to do that. I spotted a car wash ahead and decided to just bite the bullet and pay to get it cleaned. I pulled over and an old grumpy man walked over to collect the money. He told me to just drive onto the ramps and then stop. I slowly inched my car forward until I was sure that my car was in place. I noticed a sign to my right that stated do not play music while car wash is operating in big bold letters. I snorted with laughter as that was such a strange request. The car wash started and the machinery began to move my car. I turned on Spotify and Sugar by System of A Down began blaring out of my car speakers. I began headbanging to my heart's content as I knew no one could see me. The song had just finished when I gazed in the rearview mirror to see two people sitting in my backseat. I instinctively spun around and was confused to see no one there. I faced forwards again and my heart caught in my throat as I spotted the people in the mirror once again. I sat there frozen in place with my eyes fixed on the mirror. I reached up carefully and adjusted the mirror to give me a better view and almost screamed at the apparitions that I was trapped in here with. It was two girls who were both wearing identical blue dresses with a pink unicorn covering the right breast. It took all my willpower to raise my eyes and gaze at what remained of their heads. Their head ended just above their mouths as if something had just sliced straight through it. They seemed to be smiling away with their tongues hanging out of their mouths. They seemed to be bopping away to the music and every time they moved, their tongues moved from side to side like a pendulum clock. I tore my eyes away from the mirror and snuck my hands forward and turned off the music. I could hear my heart pounding in my chest as the suds from the car wash engulfed my car. I nearly screamed as I felt the breath touching both of my ears. I raised my eyes to the mirror to see both girls had their heads on either side of me and seemed to be scrutinizing the side of my face. I began reaching for the door handle but stopped as I saw the hot foam spray across the car. I tried not to flinch away as the girls' hands began moving across my body. They inspected every nook and cranny and I felt my bladder release as the terror overwhelmed me. The hands disappeared and I quickly breathed a sigh of relief. My relief was short-lived as their tongues began caressing my cheeks. Their tongues felt like sandpaper and I could feel something running down my face, which I can only assume was blood. My entire body was now shaking uncontrollably as their tongues began targeting my ears. The primordial part of my brain was screaming at me to just jump out of the car but my body was refusing to comply. I let out a moan as their tongues sunk further and further inside my ears. I was biting my own tongue to suppress a scream as the pain was unbearable. I could swear that they were licking my brain but I know that isn't physically possible. Their tongues suddenly retracted as my car exited the car wash. I stared once more in the mirror to see the girls standing inside the car wash waving goodbye to me. I threw open the car door and vomited out everything that I had ever eaten. I tried to stand but my feet gave way beneath me and I fell onto my own vomit. I began sobbing uncontrollably as I came to terms with everything that had just happened. The owner walked over and gave me a pitying look before pointing at the rule about playing music. I lurched to my feet and hopped into my car to get away from this godforsaken place. I had only driven a short distance when the skies opened and the rain began to blanket my car. I let out a manic laugh as I realized that if I had waited a few minutes, then I would never have needed to wash my car as the rain would have done it for me.